program this morning. Uh, Peter, this is an extraordinary development. It puts the conference in jeopardy, a conference that's designed to help people who are struggling in countries where, many countries, where, where being LGBT is still illegal. Uh, what's your reaction to these hundred organisations pulling out? Well, of course, the conference was groundbreaking. It is important, but I don't think LGBT organisations in Britain can go ahead and support it, given the government's stance on excluding trans people from the proposed ban on conversion practices. That sends completely the wrong signal. Uh, the British government is going to be accused of hypocrisy when it hosts a conference, while at the same time doubling down against the trans community. And that is why more than 100 organisations, including my own Peter Tatchell Foundation, have very reluctantly decided that they will be withdrawing from the conference. We do have to send a signal to the government that unless it is serious about LGBT plus rights at home, how can it talk about LGBT plus rights around the world? It does seem deeply concerning that uh, if the government describes, for example, conversion therapy as abhorrent, uh, which it does, not banning it for one of the four letters in LGBT sends a very curious message and potentially one that will be used by nefarious regimes around the world who want to do more harm to those minority groups in their countries. Uh, the government has said that it will look at some form of restricting LGBT, or rather I should say transgender conversion therapy, but we, we're getting no specifics here. If the government comes forward in short order with a plan to carry that forward, would your organisation consider rejoining the conference? Well, of course, we'd have to take a look at what was proposed, but the government is talking about finding some kind of middle ground. Well, you know, you either ban something or you don't. And, you know, I'm open-minded. I'll, I'll be willing to listen to whatever the government proposes, but unless it is a clear ban that um, transgender people have the protection against these harmful, unethical practices, that I don't see how we or any organization in the community could possibly rejoin the conference. You know, we can't stand by and let trans people who are often victims of these conversion practices and who result in people uh, suffering very high levels of anxiety and depression. They don't work. And in some cases, uh, people actually contemplate suicide. That's how damaging these practices are.